They surely were a lovely couple and were head over heels in love. But you would be surprised to know that these two would even refuse to look into each other's eyes when they first met. Their first meeting began with a lot of friction as Manawa and Arjun are on the sets of their television serial, Pavitra Arishta. Unlike the on-screen character that she played, she was an extrovert and as soon as the shoot would get over and would go on to gel with other cast and crew. He on the other hand was an introvert and would pass his time after shoots by sitting in a corner and watching movies on his laptop. They fought a lot on sets and soon realized that they are indifferent towards each other without any reason. Which is why their first step towards love began through friendship. It took a lot of wooing from his side for her to finally say yes to him. She hated him initially but finally gave in to his charms and said yes. He said, when you are spending 16 to 17 hours with a person who is persistently trying to woo you, you really don't have much choice. As he is a wallflower and does not like anyone getting a whiff of his private life, their relationship was under wraps for quite a while. This made her very insecure as she thought that he is not a hundred percent invested in their relationship. Finally, when they starred in Chalak Dekaja as contestants, the couple publicly declared that they were seeing each other for the past two years. To her surprise, the extremely shy Sushant proposed to her on the sets of the same reality show. She was extremely happy and she said that he is a romantic and pampers her a lot. As a matter of fact, she thought that there are many similarities between Manawa and him. She said he is shy and he is soft-spoken but of late, he is learning how to express his feelings better than before. While they were celebrating New Year's in 2014 in Dubai, he proposed to her, once again. Once she finished filming for the Witcherishta, she took a break from the industry while he went on to pursue Bollywood with his debut, Kai Poach A. He did not look back ever since and delivered back-to-back -back hits which led to a growing popularity and in turn a huge female following. He was happy in a very cute way that he made her jealous of his female fans. But soon after this, there were many rumors about their breakup to which he said. I'm lucky to have Ankita in my life. I don't know what I'd do without her. People say things and she still trusts me. But soon after once again, there was trouble in paradise and they broke up right after they had promised their fans that they would get married. The reason for their breakup was not disclosed and fans started coming up with many theories like he is a womanizer and she is an alcoholic. This did anger him and he had put up a status on his social media denying all these allegations. As she had taken a break from the industry and he was reaching new heights of success, people also assumed that she was jealous of him. But the reality of their relationship was that the couple wanted different things in life hence they had an amicable split. They were even spotted hanging out together for coffee after they had broken up and they chose to remain friends. His loss launched a wave of sadness amongst everyone and she was no stranger to it. Even though she had moved on in life and started dating someone else, she decided to attend his funeral as she wanted to see him one last time. But she could not as there was a limit to the amount of people that could come due to this pandemic. She was spotted at his house with tears in her eyes as she went to meet his family.